Liu Hui was an ancient Chinese mathematician. He lived in the state of Kaowei during the Three Kingdoms period of Chinese history. In 263, he edited and published a book with solutions to mathematical problems presented in the famous Chinese book of mathematics known as the Nine Chapters. On the mathematical art, he was a descendant of the Marquis of Zhejiang of the Han Dynasty, corresponding to current Zhejiang Township of Shandong Province. He completed his commentary to the Nine Chapters in the year 263. He probably visited Luao Yang and measured the sun's shadow. Mathematical work, along with Zhu Chongji, Liu Hui was known as one of the greatest mathematicians of ancient China. Liu Hui expressed all of his mathematical results in the form of decimal fractions. Yet the later Yang Hui expressed his mathematical results in full decimal expressions. Liu provided commentary on a mathematical proof of a theorem identical to the Pythagorean theorem. Liu called the figure of the drawn diagram for the theorem the diagram giving the relations between the hypotenuse and the sum and difference of the other two sides whereby one can find the unknown from the known. In the field of plane areas and solid figures, Liu Hui was one of the greatest contributors to empirical solid geometry. For example, he found that a wedge with rectangular base and both sides sloping could be broken down into a pyramid and a tetrahedral wedge. He also found that a wedge with trapezoid base and both sides sloping could be made to give two tetrahedral wedges separated by a pyramid. In his commentaries on the nine chapters, he presented an algorithm for calculation of pi in the comments to chapter 1. He calculated pi to with a 192-sided polygon. Archimedes used a circumscribed 96 polygon to obtain the inequality, and then used an inscribed 96 gon to obtain the inequality. Liu Hui used only one inscribed 96 gon to obtain his pi inequality, and his results were a bit more accurate than Archimedes. But he commented that 3.142074 was too large, and picked the first three digits of pi equals 3.141024 tilde 3.14 and put it in fraction form. He later invented a quick method and obtained, which he checked with a 3072 gone. Nine chapters had used the value 3 for pi, but Zhang Heng had previously estimated pi to the square root of 10. Gaussian Elimination Cavalieri's principle to find the volume of a cylinder and the intersection of two perpendicular cylinders although this work was only finished by Zhu, Chongji and Zhu Gengji. Liu's commentaries often include explanations why some methods work and why others do not. Although his commentary was a great contribution, some answers had slight errors which was later corrected by the Tang mathematician and Taoist believer Li Chunfeng. Liu Hui also presented, in a separate appendix of 263 AD called Hai Dao Suanjing or the Sea Island Mathematical Manual, several problems related to surveying. This book contained many practical problems of geometry, including the measurement of the heights of Chinese pagoda towers. This smaller work outlined instructions on how to measure distances and heights with tall surveyors' poles and horizontal bars fixed at right angles to them. With this, the following cases are considered in his work. The measurement of the height of an island opposed to its sea level and viewed from the sea. The height of a tree on a hill. The size of a city wall viewed at a long distance. The depth of a ravine. The height of a tower on a plain seen from a hill. The breadth of a river mouth seen from a distance on land. The width of a valley seen from a cliff. The depth of a transparent pool. The width of a river as seen from a hill. The size of a city seen from a mountain. Liu Hui's information about surveying was known to his contemporaries as well. The cartographer and state minister Pei Xiu outlined the advancements of cartography, surveying, and mathematics up until his time. This included the first use of a rectangular grid and graduated scale for accurate measurement of distances on representative terrain maps. Liu Hui provided commentary on the nine chapters problems involving building canal and river dikes. 
giving results for total amount of materials used, the amount of labor needed, the amount of time needed for construction, etc. Although translated into English long beforehand, Luce's work was translated into French by Guo Shuchun, a professor from the Chinese Academy of Sciences, who began in 1985 and took 20 years to complete his translation.